actually it is afternoon like 1 30 i am not feeling it today ah i don't know if anyone else gets this but like during my ovulation when i start it's just like it is rough so i was not feeling it today and it's i woke up at like 10 got out of bed and then just literally laid around this is like my third cup of matcha <laughs> <laughs> I should not be having that much, but oh well. So I am going to wash my face, do a face mask, um, take a shower, and I want to clean my place because I'm lacking on the dishes. <laughs> and I'm also filming like um, some fitness challenges for you guys, so... I'll be doing some of that today, even though I don't want to because I'm cramping from ovulation. <laughs> Literally, I can like feel the eggs dropping. It's just, it's not fun. Okay, let's, let's get into the facey washy. Happy Vlogmas Day 4. Also, my face is absolutely hitting me right now. Like. You don't want to break out right here. Again, ovulation, hormones. Oh, I swear my skin is like good maybe one to two weeks out of the month. And then the rest is just like angry. <laughs> my skin is very, very sensitive. So a lot of product I can't use on my face because it'll freak out. But this clay mask is like one of the few things that my face actually enjoys. And I just get it at um, like CVS or Walgreens. Good, I get like face stuff. It's super, super, like highly sensitive skin. Put it down in the comments, please. Okay, I'm gonna sit with this for 15 minutes, do my dishes, and then pop in the shower, wash it. Look how embarrassing this is. <laughs> dishes is like the one thing I flip and hate to do, so it always like piles up because I put it off until I like have no more dishware. But I like, baby. weird that we have to wash the dishes before we wash the dishes. Like that just never made sense to me. <laughs> it's so long. <laughs> Starts running and you're just like, what the heck? Well, it worked its way out, I think. My oh, eyes feeling a little bit better. <sighs> My eye feels better, so that's good. Still feels like there's a little bit something in there, but I think it's working its way out. Thank goodness. So, 
funny story, which not really funny, but like looking back at it, it was just crazy. Um, I was in Moab and I was hiking in the desert by myself because I was on a road trip, a solo road trip. And uh, <laughs> like I went off the trail, which like you're not supposed to do, but I was like, I'm gonna go off the trail. And Mother Nature immediately was like, nah, biatch, you better <laughs> get your act right. And like a big dust of wind flew and I got sand in my eye and it scratched it up really bad. Like I literally couldn't see, it was swollen. I was like, I did the bad thing, I rubbed it. You're not supposed to rub it because it just makes it worse. And I'm literally just like <laughs> crying, can't see out of one eye. I'm trying to get back to the trail. I'm in the middle of the desert, like not near anyone really. Like I went on a back trail that not a lot of uh, visitors go on. And I happened to talk to this couple that was like, went to the same college as me and all this stuff. And I just like got into conversation with them because I'm very like talkative when I'm hiking. When I'm like by myself, I'm like, because I'm in a great mood. So I'm just like, hey people. Um, so I like struck up conversation with them. And later I like found my way into a, um, a camp and I was in the bathroom trying to like clean out my eye, nothing was working. And they just pop up out of nowhere and they're like, oh, how are you? And I'm like, I got sand in my eye, I can't see, like, can you help me? Do you have any eye drops by chance? Turns out he was an eye doctor and had prescribed eye drops. And I was like, this is this world is just crazy. They went to the same college, there his wife went to the same college as me. He's an eye doctor. I need an eye doctor. He gave me eye drops. And then <laughs> so he like he put in the eye drops for me and all this stuff and it like it made it better. And then he gave me some to keep and to he he was like, "Okay, keep putting them in like every 3 hours and all that stuff." And I was just like, "What are the freaking chances?" And then he like found my car out of hundreds and hundreds of cars there in like in arches it was crazy busy he found my car because like I, I had a Honda Fit at the time and I was like oh yeah I'm in a tiny like purple Honda Fit and then my license plate at the time was like also the college I went to so he just happened to find it and he put his little like car business card on my windshield with his phone number it was like if you need any help just, like text me let me know and I was just like one I need to be more careful about like what I tell people because that's kind of creepy that you can go find my car but two that's like so freaking crazy it was just a crazy experience that was just like perfect timing and then yeah it was just but the eye drop that I just used it was what he gave me on my trip <laughs> still coming in clutch to this day <laughs> all right I'm gonna I need to finish hanging up this stuff and then I'm going to take a shower. I'm so ready to shower. Ugh. I was gonna be all cute today and go hiking so I wasn't boring on the vlog and now I'm just doing <laughs> chores around the house cleaning. Ugh. Today is just one of those days where you're like I just need to be productive but I don't want to leave the dang house. I might actually go pick up some beer for another video I'm gonna do. I'm thinking of doing like a taste Christmas beers um, taste test. So let me know if you wanna see that. So I might go pick up the beers for that today. Um, but yeah, it just, it gets dark at 5.30. And so if I don't wake up early, like I can't go hiking. And I just slept in because I was like, my body was not feeling it. Damn it, ovulation. Like, why Why is being a woman, woman, so freaking difficult sometimes? <laughs> okay, shower time. <sighs> Matcha just like saves my life. Do any of you take your tea in your shower, have like a shower tea instead of shower beer? It's shower tea. I highly recommend it. It's quite a nice experience. <laughs>
So I'm gonna try to braid my hair into pigtails. Sometimes it goes well, sometimes it goes horrible, so let's see what we can do in a day, baby. I have no idea what happened, but these girls are going to two separate parties. Like this one looks so good, and then this one's like, oh, what the heck? But I'm not redoing it because, oh, that was so long. Uh, I love braiding my hair, but then I also hate freaking braiding my hair. Like, what is this? What is this? <laughs> oh well. She's cute. <laughs> She's there. On this cold December day, I am piloting my sleigh. The work to be done on my Christmas run is the most tired chore. No girl or boy without a toy. So giddy up, root of my dear. I'm making some chicken stew, so I need to drop in the chicken. I got potatoes, carrots, scallions, and some um, cabbage. So, and then I have noodles to put in it when it's done. So first we'll get the washer and the chicken. So I'll go boil this baby. Yeah. Salt and pepper. Got some sea salt. Look how pretty that is. Oh, yes. All right, here is the fit. I'm going to the store. I want some Christmas candles and I'm gonna look for some holiday festive beer. But yes, got the tank, got the shorts, white sneaks, and this little guy, and then some sunglasses because it's sunny in Arizona. Hey, and the fanny because I hate carrying things. <laughs> and then unmakeup face with funky ass <laughs> because be confident in the niche. Alright, I will see y'all when I get back. Y'all 
I got so many good goodies. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, so first I got beer of the world. So it's nine assorted beers from around the world. So I'm gonna do a video with that. And then I also got a holiday ale um, pack, four pack. It's the only like Christmas beer I could find. Um, but <laughs> these things are really funny, like the Santa butt and just like the names of it. So I'm gonna do a Christmas uh, beer try thing video also. And then I got assorted teas. It's like an advent calendar, but for tea. I'm a tea ho. Like, I don't drink coffee anymore. I like drank way too much in college and now it's just like, I, my body can't handle it. But I got this like 12 days of sipping assorted teas, 24 assorted premium teas. Let's see what this thing looks like inside. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. So I will be having one of these every morning. Ah. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes. So some of the teas are pumpkin spice black tea, comfort and joy black tea. So, oh, oh, they don't put the numbers on it. Cool. Okay. So British breakfast black tea, ginger peach black tea, organic pomegranate green tea, honey ginseng green tea, chamomile lemon herbal tea, organic mint fields herbal tea, peppermint bark tea, uh, cinnamon vanilla tea, and then peppermint chocolate tea. So I am so freaking excited to try this. Ah, I freaking love advent calendars. This is like advent calendar, but for adults, and I love it. <laughs> am I old? Is this me being old, being excited about like an advent calendar for tea? <laughs> what is life anymore? Oh my goodness. Okay, and then I also got some candles. This one's in like a nice little frosted glass. It's peppermint Oof, with like a hint of like smoke. I don't know if that's meant to be there, but uh, peppermint, it's like if man, like a, if a man ate peppermint, like this is what this smells like. <laughs> and then I got also, a three wick one. This is like bark smelling like Christmas tree. Oh, you know, just like Christmas tree candles. It's called Balsam Forest three wick candle. Ah, I'm so ready to light this. I love candles. And then I also got um, 14 Belgium beer filled chocolates. Look how freaking cute that is. This was expensive though, it was like $15. Um, but I'm also going to make this into a video, so, you know, right off on taxes, eat some chocolate, have a good ass day. Um, I need stuff for these videos to be exciting for you guys, so please like and subscribe because I'm spending way too much money. Um, and then I also <laughs> picked up a white chocolate ale just because it sounded good. And it's a really cute packaging, look at that little monkey. Um, and then last but not least, I got some trail mix just because it looked good and it was uh, pretty cheap-ish, not too bad. Uh, but if you have a world market near you, go to it because I am obsessed with it. Like, ugh, I just, I love being able to have, like try stuff from different cultures and that's where you can get it, world market. I freaking love the store, I spend way too much money there, um, but, yeah. So, what should I do? Should I open up the first tea advent calendar? <gasps> should I get it? Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna go for one, even though it's December 3rd. So, a little bit behind, but that's okay. So, here we go. Number one. Woo! Peppermint bark, caffeine free. Oh, that's good, caffeine free. They give you multiple? They give you two tea bags per one. Yes. Caffeine free, ro rubus, robios, 
ground, round tea bag. <laughs> I'm butchering this, but peppermint bark. Ooh. Okay, here are the directions. Enjoy this environmentally friendly, round, unbleached tea bag, free of wasteful sta strings, staples, and tags. We love that. Steep me a cup for a winter's night. For the wind howls loud and the furies fright. Oh, furies fight. <laughs> Start over. Okay, ready? Dramatic winter music. Steep me a cup for a winter's night. For the wind howls loud and the furies fight. Spice it with love and stir with care. And I'll toast our bright eyes, my sweetheart fair. That was beautiful. I love that. Let's get this started. I'm glad it's a night tea because I started that late. <laughs> Okay, we have the tea here. It is very, very hot, so I might burn my tongue, but the light is like very fastly setting, so I'm trying to like, try it before the light goes. Ah, no, it's too hot. There's something just like so calming about making a pot of tea. I love it. It's like, meditation without having to meditate because <laughs> my brain does not stop. Also, the new Khalid album just came out and I have been vibing to it today. Oh, I love it. It's so like chill. I'm just like the little candle lit, the teapot going. It's just hit and right. Today started off so bad. It's so good now. I love it. Ugh, we love that when a day starts out rough and it just ends on a high note. Okay, let's see. Very peppermint. I'm not a big fan of peppermint drinks, so. I don't know, I'm not a very big fan of it. It's like, it just tastes like if you put like peppermint drops and like, you know, one of those tinctures like in a cup of hot water, like that's what this tea kind of tastes like. With like a, with a back note of like chocolate, not my favorite. But if you like peppermint, you would definitely like this tea. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a three out of 10. Not my favorite, but if you like peppermint, that's just cause I don't like peppermint, so. I hope you guys liked this vlog best number four, and I hope you guys like and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow, bye. I will put in a clip of my, <laughs> One of the fitness challenges I'm doing, uh, I just did it. I mean, holy crap, my back looks yet. <laughs> I'm like, damn girl, okay, go off. So I'm gonna put in that clip so y'all can see it and that video will be coming soon so you can watch the whole thing. All right, 